This is an amazing opportunity for us. This is our third hackathon, and it's turning out to be uh, better and better every year, right here in Stony Brook, right here at Seaweed. So with that in mind, good luck and keep hacking. We're here at uh, Hack at Seawit tonight at Stony Brook University, and we have about 200 students building amazing new pieces of technology uh, at this hackathon. It's just an opportunity to improve your skills, to network, and to meet new friends. These students are really driven, and they know what they want to do, and they're happy that we have resources provided to them that they can do that. They're going to come up with stuff that we may never think of, and it could be stuff that we're going to see in the future. They form a team uh, with their peers. They come up with any idea. It could be anything from a robot to a website to you know a homemade self-driving car. And by the end of a 48-hour weekend sprint, they have to have a working prototype ready to show off. And one of the best parts of these events is that companies, you know, typically sponsors of the events, bring all of their staff here to mentor the students. So throughout the entire weekend, we have our own engineers providing students some insight on how to use different types of technology. It's really important for students to understand how to use real world applications into their two day long projects. So the overall atmosphere right now is pretty quiet. Everybody is kind of in their own little nooks and crannies, but you can see the excitement in everybody's eyes and you know, that they're really creating something that they're passionate about. I really love having a hackathon in Seawit because we work here and we have the opportunity to really engage with many students. Over the course of this weekend, ourselves, our engineers, really get a chance to dive in and really make that one-on-one -on -one connection, really help them out and build some amazing projects. Well, I love hackathons. I've been to about five. We get to learn new skills and go to workshops. You can really explore just what makes you happy in computer science. When it comes to like the classrooms and all that, you get the same designated homeworks as everyone else and the same projects. Meanwhile, here you have more freedom of what you can do. What we're trying to do is we're taking a Roomba and we're attaching a, like a webcam to it. And from there, the Roomba, while it cleans or while it's going around the room, is gonna look for people and like try to detect their faces, like a security bot. So I thought we, it would be fun to make a miniature version of kind of Uber self-driving cars with the robots kits that we have trying to do collision avoidance, and we're trying to do sign detections, and I think we're, we're on our way to achieving the goal by the time uh, the hackathon ends. Coding is really an art, it's a passion for those of us that love what we do and you know love what we study. There's nothing better than to just sit down, gather around with a couple of friends, have some good food, play some games, and then just code for as long as you can until you knock out. <laughs> goes to United Sensors of America. So we just had this great, great hackathon here at Seawit for two days and a half. We were hacking and working a lot and uh, we just won an amazing prize and we we're very happy. It was a, definitely a great learning experience. A lot of exchange just of skills and definitely personal growth.